Welcome to our Beit HaLevi series, episode number 15. The Beit HaLevi now tells us that if we have these concepts clear and we understand that we're only doing our Hishtadluk as a work tax, but not that God needs it, what happens if we're in a situation that there is nothing that we can do? He gives an example. Eliyahu Hanavi is... It's time of famine. He's stuck. He's at the side of a river. And then God tells him to leave. And there's no food. There's nothing to eat. What does God then do? He makes a miracle. And ravens come and bring him his food. Rav Shem Bar Yochai is, is a fugitive. He's in a cave. He has nothing to eat. God makes a miracle and creates a carob tree. What's the lesson, says the Beit HaLevi? If we can't do anything... We are absolved. We're absolved from our work tax. And God can't penalize us. You didn't do anything wrong. You tried your best. And that's all you have to do. And when you, there's nothing else to do, that's when God is now going to kick in because you did your best. And that's an important lesson. Now, one might say, hold on. What does this story of Eliyahu Hanavi have to do with me? What does the story of Hashem Bar Yochai have to do with me? And it's interesting that the Chovot Levot also brings down such stories. He brings down the man as well. And that's telling us that just because we not, might not merit open miracles, but there are small miracles that we can see where HaKadosh Baruch Hu will show us, I'm involved in your life and I'm taking care of you. There's a story that I uh, told once upon a time of a man in the early 1900s when Shabbat was a big test for people. And he used to, every Friday, would go home knowing that probably he's not going to get his job back when he doesn't come on Shabbat. When he shows up Monday morning, they're going to fire him. One Friday on the way home, he had no money in his pocket. It seems they weren't going to pay him until he come, came the next Shabbat. And he was tempted to just go to work on Shabbat. And as he's walking home, he doesn't know how he's going to buy any food. He's going to have to borrow money again. On a garbage can, he sees a loaf of bread, a loaf of challah. And he takes it, and he takes it as a sign from God that he's taking care of him. This is his man. And he goes and he commits himself to Shabbat. When I told this story, there was a lady that was bothered by this story. She says, who's taking a loaf of bread off a garbage can? Okay. Not long after, this lady was making a Bikor Cholim visit, and she came to an older lady's house, and the lady had been given uh, loaves of challah for Shabbat by, by uh, benefactors, and she didn't need all those loaves. So she gave this lady a loaf of bread, and it was wrapped in saran wrap with a bow. And the lady came to tell me the story and said, look, Hashem knows that I wouldn't take a loaf of bread just like that. So he put saran wrap and a bow around it. HaKadosh Baruch Hu, even today, will be involved in our lives. We might not see it openly, like Eliyahu and Avi and Shimba Yochai, but when we do our best, God will be there because He's not going to penalize us if we weren't able to pay off our work tax. Have a wonderful day.